Right boys, welcome back to another video and welcome to another episode of the Barrow Road to Glory. We are going to be finishing the month of December today with four games. We have other... Oh. No, I think we, we can still finish this. We have what I believe will be the FA Cup. Um, and I believe it's that... Is that Morgan? Um, they changed their badge, didn't they? Where are we? Yeah, Morgan. Surely we can beat them in a quick sim. So yeah, we are going to finish this month. Five games. Huddersfield. Forest. And Birmingham. The two will probably play. Um, I think. Um, I'll see Forest up there. Birmingham or Reading is where I think we need to check. Birmingham were up here before and they're still 7th. Reading 15th, Reading we can maybe watch the sim or something. And yeah, that is the plan for today's episode. So it's going to be 5 games but we're going to get through them all. We have a few position change here. A lot of players moving to centre back, I'm not going to lie. That only put him up by 1. So we need to put his defending up a bit. I'm hoping one of these guys is going to jump up big time. Um, good pace, good physical, no defending though. See so here again, goes up by one. Some of these lads probably won't even get promoted at this rate to be fair. Goddard from CDM to centre back, are you going to go up at all? He went up by three, but it's still not ideal really. Um, is there anyone in the Youth Academy that's actually good enough to go up yet? Not quite, although if Walid um, can get up by one rating soon, then he'll be sweet. We're going to sort his skill move, or sorry, his weak foot out. Then we'll put him up once he hits 60 rated. These two have another year anyway. Uh, well, this guy, 78 potential, I'd rather not. Um, 86 potential, no. And then the rest of them, we will leave. So, Huddersfield to kick off the episode again. We are at home this time. I reckon we can quick sim this one. Come on, lads. 1-0 no win. Ali Traore, brilliant. So much like tighter just because we're at home. That seems to be the way FIFA is this year, and I don't know why. Back in the day, it was always the away games that you lost every time. Not these days. It's always the home games that are tough. In sim, as far as you know, quick sims go. Obviously, last year we only had quick sims. So McEachran disappointed. We have a few. Those are the position changes we've done. I think. Um, Mick Akron, have to rotate the squad mate might not have been smart to use the first team there I don't know because we have Forest in 3 days which we're going to be jumping into 2 points behind Southampton so again need to keep winning but if we beat Forest again here for the second time it will really be we will be well out in front of them so we could like in these coming episodes, we could really secure automatic promotion. Um, we're good enough to challenge. We're definitely challenging, all right. I um, think we're ready to win this. Um, we'll see what lessons they learned. But beating Forest here would definitely put us well in front of them. And yeah, don't. We're doing bits in terms of getting well out in front of everyone. This kid, you see, I'm thinking of going for him. Boyko, 71 rated at 19. Could be an option, so we'll see next season anyway. Or maybe we'll see what the crack is in January, but Forrest, who are third, and we're so far out in front. What's the fitness like? Fitness is fine. Have the full team. Forrest aren't too fit though, so we might have to take advantage of that. So let's go and try and get the job done, lads. So lads, big game here, ish, um, I mean they're third, but of course we are well in front of them, but 
massive stadium. We're playing. We're used to playing at Hulker Street. We, you know, town park type vibes. Forest with a huge stadium, but hopefully we can get the job done. And as I say, I feel like this could really be the game where if we win, we would be. We would have to just absolutely plummet for the rest of the season to not get automatic promotion. I think we'll be comfortable if we can win this game. Here's Galebraith. Pass just intercepted. There's Juro. And Da. Can he find the space at the right? He has. Still running in Da. He wins the corner. He feels so quick these days. I'm not even joking. Man feels so quick. Was whipped in towards... Oh, it was actually towards Collins. Ended up at Juro. Gilbreath. Gets it back out to Hardcastle. Finds Juro. Oh, good save from Samba. In goals. We'll go for something different this time. We'll go for Juro. If that wasn't the worst corner ever. There's Juro. And Inda has made the run. Great run from Inda. He took it a bit far. Keeper comes out and Inda stays composed. Just chips it over him. Absolutely beautiful. He's celebrating in front of the Forest fans. I tried to get him to go to our fans in the corner, but Inda's not having it. He wants to annoy the opposition fans. He took a heavy touch there at the end. So I had to change the shot quickly to the chip. Thankfully he did it. His seventh leg goal of the season. Love to see it. 1-0 off lads. Great. Here's Hardcastle. Finds Dujon Sterling. Whips it in. Hugo Juro off the crossbar. That's so unlucky. It was a great header. Hits it onto the bar. It was a really good cross too. Could have been 2-0 up there. Up the other end, trying to punish us. They've hit the post. Woodwork saving both sides there. Lads, I've just went to stop recording this second half and I don't think it's recorded. Um, my recording says stop recording. Or sorry, it says start recording rather than stop. It hasn't recorded the second half. I need to show you the winner that Devante Cole scored. We've won the game 2-1. First off, you want to see this goal then. Look at this goal from Forrest. That was their equaliser. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look, chests it. Doesn't even touch the ground. He, on the volley. Crazy and... Of course, when this happens, the game doesn't record. Devante Cole, 85th minute. Yep, it's a corner. We whip it in. Devante Cole scored a corner. We scored from a corner and the scenes were not went in. Oh my word, it's not even a great header really, is it? Like it's not clean at all. It's not, you know, he doesn't have the space. Don't have that kind of talent, but I am going to be so disappointed if I get to the end of this and find that the second half hasn't recorded. But that's why I'm making sure that you saw that the curse has been lifted, the curse is broken. We scored from a corner, lad. Let it be known. So I still have obviously the face cam from that goal, so I'm going to put in my live reaction from that corner because lads it was absolute scenes so when i thought the gameplay was recording here's what happened lads if you were gonna score from a corner now's the time to do it oh my word Devante cole if anybody was gonna do it it was gonna be him the curse is broken lads we've scored from a corner. <laughs> oh my word. Devante Cole off the bench. 
You couldn't write it. Scores. We we had an objective last season, score three goals from corners. We didn't even score one. And now we've just broke the curse. Unbelievable. Forest offside, and I think after that, lads, let's calm it down here and just make sure we get the win. The boys left it late. I still I still can't believe that that didn't record that moment. Literally, exactly what I said was, lads, if you're gonna score from a corner, now's the time to do it. I selected Devante Cole and made the run, we whipped it any scores. I cannot believe that of all the moments, it couldn't have been a through ball, finesse it around the keeper and, be, and I'll be like, yeah lads, this happened, we scored, we won. No, it couldn't be. It had to be a corner that we haven't scored. Like, I, I hate this game sometimes. Not even the game. I don't know what if it's to do with the game or the Xbox, why it didn't record. But lads... It turns out to be a really important goal because Southampton have lost. Who did they lose to? Oh, sorry, the Drew. The Drew with Reading. So now we're level on points with them. They've scored more goals than us. How has that happened then? We love scoring goals, but we've conceded the least. Arresting in goals. But yeah, this is an even bigger game now because if Southampton slip up a game, we are... In a great place. <sighs> Devante Cole from a corner. I can't believe that. So we only have two day breaks between these games, which isn't ideal. So we're probably gonna have to start resting the squad eventually. In fact, we're gonna have to start resting it again now. Devante, you're gonna start, mate. Liam Boyce onto the bench. Um, Sirkin's gonna have to start. I am gonna change both centre backs. Gonna change in Da um, for Coughlin. And then, yeah, Traore. The other two, Gilbreth Gribbon, we might just about to get away with at the minute. So what do we actually have on the bench that we can put on? We'll bring the extra striker, I suppose. Um, we will bring Charpentier. And we'll bring a centre back, we'll bring Delhi. So that is the team we're gonna have to work with as we go in to face Birmingham and hopefully this entire game will record. So lads, before we face Birmingham, let's look at the career challenges. Wicked Wingers is on 20 out of 30. We're not even halfway through the season yet. We have this episode before we're halfway through and they're already 20 out of 30. I think they're maybe on 22 or something now. I know Traore and Inda have definitely scored in this episode. Not sure about assists, so they're at least on 22 out of 30. Green and White Army stayed on 13 out of 15 last episode, so two more we still need. Hopefully we can get that soon. Liam Boyce is on the bench this game, so maybe he can come on and get the job done. Um, and then Hugo Juro, the record breaker, is on 11 out of 24 still. Hasn't scored yet this episode, but... He's still looking good, um, almost halfway there. So, lads, Birmingham, and I'm hoping, as I say again, you're going to see this whole game. We played Birmingham not too long ago as well, didn't we? At home, and I think we beat them. We've been beating everybody lately, to be fair, so, yeah, it's a good one. Um, Lads, I am going to show you... I will have shown you um, the reaction to that corner goal. Um, I can't believe it. But here's Gribbon. Gribbon, playing it across. Devante Cole, it's 1-0. Four minutes in, we're 1-0 up, it's brilliant. 
But yeah, I should have shown you my reaction. And of course, I have the face cam going um, to the corner goal. It was amazing. It was just such a moment. The Vante Cole following it up. Four minutes in. Oh, we're one nil up against Birmingham, boys. We are in form at the minute. It's well won, lads. Pressure well put on. And Gribben, great turn. And that's a fantastic strike from Callum Gribben. We're 2 0 up inside 12 minutes. Boys are on fire here. This is unbelievable. High press. Devante Cole, I think, puts the pressure on. Tangia picks it up into Gribben. That's just, a, that's just a really smooth turn. They're 2-0 up against Birmingham. This could be a really, really good game for us, lads. Devante Cole does a nice forward pass from Gonzalez. And now Gribben. Gribben, it's 3-0. After half an hour, we're 3-0 up against Birmingham. They cannot handle us. And the only thing I can think of, lads, is the fact that we've changed the team and our lads are all 100% fit. Um, that's all I can think of. You know, we we do feel quicker than them, I'm not going to lie. And to be honest, I'm just going to go to them. Um, I'm going to watch the game for a while, chill out. That has to be it, like, I mean, look at the stamina already. Gilbraith and Gribben are going to have to come off, yes. But look, especially their front three. Villalba, Toral and Leco, All dead, like. Our players are sweet to the beat. You know, they're fit as can be. So, no worries there. And then, yeah. We just... We are good in this game. 3-0 up and cruising. So, not much to worry about. We'll send till about, I don't know, 60, 65th minute. And if we're still 3 0 up by that stage, I'm just going to jump the result. Um, if we're maybe 4 up by then, or before then, we're just going to again jump the result as soon as we hit that fourth, if and when we do. Three shots, three chances, three goals. Talk about efficiency. Um, so Gilbreath is off. It's going to be Gribben off. Let's throw Boyce on. And let's play that 4 1 2 1 2 wide. And go for Cole and Boyce. And is that. I know Hangi is a bit tired, but you know, he'll be sweet. He will be fine. Um. What's our next game? Reading in the leg. So I might take off Hardcastle and stick on Correa just to give him a, a rest and make sure he's fit. Because we want to have, well, we should have pretty much the whole first time ready for Reading in the sim game. More come in the FA Cup, we can rotate again. Yes, I want to win it, but I feel like we should have a squad good enough to beat them. And there's a great run being made there. And Carter, you have to score from that, mate. Looked like a fantastic run. And a good chance. But it's been fairly quiet since we went 3-0 up. We have just absolutely dominated in this game. There's a great run from Boyce. Oh, no. What? I'm stupid. We're black. And Boyce is 26 anyway. <laughs> I was thinking we were blue for a minute. We're away. Um, we'll give it till about 65, 70 now. Since they've got that goal. I can't believe that. Here I'm sitting here thinking, brilliant, we're 4 0 up. Nope, Toral scores. Toral, who is dead for them, by the way. Like, him and Villalba absolutely done out. Leco's not too fresh either. Please don't concede again. Thank you. So we're going to jump the result. 3-1 win. Thank goodness. I cannot believe that. And how long? 
Boy Scrim and Carrera McEachran, the subs I made. They brought on Delhi and Sterling. Or sorry, yeah, like the game brought on Delhi and Sterling. So is that, can we make five subs in game now? <laughs> Didn't know about this here, but yeah, 3-1 win. I thought it was 4-0, but <laughs> we take it. So lads, we've had to rotate a wee bit to face Reading. Um, Davis, Beadling have to come in. Bench is very rotated because it was basically the bench that played the last game. Gribben and McEachran are not making it though, so hopefully we'll be okay. Again, Reading not looking too fit. December's obviously a rough time. December period in football is just famous for being packed with fixtures. But hopefully we have rotated the squad well enough and we can do enough here. And we've still got a good team out. Sterling and Da, um, Hardcastle, Hugo Juro. I mean, Hardcastle's just a bite out there because I think he's on like 70 something fitness. But we will get through it. It's definitely an interesting bench if you look at it. Deli, Charpentier, Ayala, Correa, we've just about got on there. Sterling's not bad. He could, you know, we can use him when we need to. And then Kruth, um, another youth player. Um, a lot of youth players who haven't even made their debut yet. I think Delhi got his in the last episode. The game subbed him on. But we haven't used the likes of Charpentier yet. So maybe if I have to jump in, I will bring some of them lads on if we need to. Um, there's a few cha times I've had the chance to. They've been on the bench and I just haven't. But we will likely use them against Morkham in the FA Cup and that's a game I'm gonna quick send but I will heavily heavily rotate the team that game but here's in Da can we make something please lads I want to see a goal in this game I want us to be in control Hugo Juro forced to hold it up he had support there I think he I felt he could have played that a bit sooner to be honest. Come on. Giving Redding far too much of the ball here. Not looking as comfortable as I would like us to be. Right now can we hit them on the counter? Someone someone make a run in behind. Now across one more. Plenty. Of blue shirts in the middle. We are blue this time. I know this. That's brilliant. Who was that? 16. Beadling. Beadling I think is actually leaving in January. Um, It might be smart to try and find a replacement for him though. Because I sold him because he's 64 rated. He's not where we need him to be. But at the same time. I have definitely rotated him into the squad. More, more times than I expected to this season. To be honest. I thought, we've got Gilbreath, we've got McEachran, we'll be sweet. Definitely needed that third depth. Um, Hardcastle, we're not going to get much longer out of. I'll give him till about an hour or so, and then take him off. And even at that point, I might be jumping in to try and find a winner. So yeah, that could be happening. If we don't get a move on here. I know the Xbox has just got really loud there. You can probably hear it um, on the, from the camera. It's got really loud. I don't know why. Do you ever just have it on? If you have an Xbox, do you ever just have it on? And then the fan just goes on a mad one sometimes. Right, lads, that's a great opportunity. I feel like we've, we've really made it difficult for ourselves there, though. That was not the right way to, to play that. It really wasn't. So 60 minutes gone lads. I'm going to make subs first. So we really don't have a cam. So it's going to be 4 4 2 with Sterling and Boy. Sorry, Sterling and Juro. That's not a bad um, strike force or duo there to be fair. But Davis getting kind of tired. Delhi is going to come on. And he's going to play CDM. 
and I think we'll be sweet for now. Juro might not get much longer out of, so Kruth might have to come on. But I'm going to jump in when it lets me. Here we go. Let's hope I can defend this first also. Here come Redding. Whipped in. Get it cleared. <sighs> One minute of injury time. We're not going to get a chance here, are we? No, we're not. Of course we're not. We're on the attack and EA blew the whistle. Literally didn't get to create anything from jumping in. Nil-nil draw against Redding. Really, really stupid points to drop there, lads. So, lads, we have Morecambe here in the FA Cup. Kruth is asking, can he play? You'll get your chance. Why not? Afonso Kruth. Um, are Morecambe League 1 or League 2? I think they might be League 2. Whereabouts are they? Oh, they're 18th in League 2, right, yeah. Um, that definitely changes how much I'm rotating. I am putting all the the proper youngsters in. So, yeah. Is this Rivals? Right, well, we're in excellent shape. Um, I didn't think this was a Derby. Does your Morecambe team? You mean my Barrow team? I um, want to reward our loyal fans. That's not just the fans in the game. Um, it's the fans that are watching this series. You're all Barrow fans now. Will we make sign-ins? Sign players that are right for us. Um, I'm probably going to need a Beedling replacement. If I can gather the funds to get the replacement. But yeah. So, Morecambe. Let's put the lads in. Hargreaves needs a game. In fact, we should really be starting down here, shouldn't we? Jenkins, I'm going to throw on the bench, but I just don't want to play like a 64 rated goalkeeper. Um, Charpentier can play. Obviously, Hangia. Zirkin. Um, to be fair, the two centre-backs are really, you know... The two centre backs are are fit. Um, it's actually going to be Ayala. Then we're going to have Davis is going to play two instead of Gribben. We're going to have Cruz in. We'll start Liam Boyce again. So that's going to be a four four two with Beedling and Boyce in there. Perf or with Beedling and Davis in there. So that's perfect. And you know what? We'll throw Deli in beside Collins. And then, yeah, on the bench we'll have the likes of Mosquera. Um, we'll stick Kaiser Sterling on the bench. We'll have Henriques. We'll have Gonzalez and Zuma. And yeah, that's, re that's really it. That's a, a fair team, a good enough team, I think. So hopefully, those lads can go out and beat Morecambe in the FA Cup. Quick sim, I do want to win the FA Cup this year. So please don't ruin that already. Oh my word, it's a 1-1 draw. And now we have a replay. Now we have a replay against Morecambe. Really, lads, you couldn't have just went out and got the job done. <sighs> When's that going to be now? When is the replay going to be? So clearly, I'll have to put a bit of a stronger team out. That isn't scheduled yet, so it might come into the month of Jan into January as we get on into it. Mosquera has left, Ayala has left, and Beedling has left. We've got a youth squad monthly report. 85 potential, bye bye. 85 potential, bye bye. Waleed, would you please get up to a 6? I want him up to a 60, but you know what? I've heard you have to promote them by January. 
So we're just gonna promote them, right? We're gonna promote them because I don't wanna miss out on any potential he might have. Cruth, yeah, um, don't pressure yourself, mate. So we'll probably loan list that guy. And then I also want a loan list for the rest of the season, Jenkins, because he's not gonna get enough game time. Bond can be third choice to the end of the season and then he can go. But where is that new guy we brought in, Waleed? Add the loan list. And yeah, that is where we're going to leave it. We have... Ooh, is that where we're going to leave it? I think that's where we'll leave it for now. But next episode, I'm definitely interested in getting this guy in to replace Speedline. And then... I thought his contract was expiring. Okay then. No contracts expiring. Chaplin's contract was supposed to be expiring too. Don't understand that. But this is the guy we really need. Um, Because we need a midfielder to replace Speedling. So that's it for today's episode, lads. Transfer window episode up next. Leave your player suggestions down in the comments. We're two points behind Southampton now, but hopefully we can still push for the title. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.